Thank you. A.W. Simpson, I live in Largo. I'm not going to make it. We need term limits for Pinellas County commissioners. Votes are being suppressed in the county when commissioners are allowed to serve for decades. Incumbents have the advantage, especially with the current voting fraud going on in Pinellas County. I was part of a team of grassroots Defend Florida Pinellas County volunteers that canvassed our county for the last eight months. We uncovered many anomalies. There are empty lots with numerous voters registered, commercial properties such as gas stations being used as voter residents. We interviewed many people such as elderly couples living alone who were surprised to learn that their identities were being used to vote in the last election or there were other voters registered to vote in their homes. Our leader, Kathy Chamberlain, took these important facts to share on voting fraud in Pinellas at the Defend Florida press conference, which was held in Hillsboro in front of the Supervisor of Elections Office on February 3rd. These are not one-offs, as Pinellas County Supervisor of Elections Office told canvassers at a meeting last September. These are multiple violations confirmed by canvassing, which is to say, interviewing in person at addresses as provided by the Supervisor of Elections. I was one of the people who went out and actually interviewed these people. We understand that there are exceptions allowed, such as homeless can vote from P.O. boxes, as long as they list an address. But at the same time, we were told that voter rolls are pristine, cleared on a daily basis. This is not what canvassers found when we redoubled our efforts, our volunteer efforts, to working tirelessly to find out just how in order or out of control our voter rolls really are. In October 2021, we generated a list of Pinellas County voter anomalies. Among other items, it includes those who never voted or hadn't voted in years, therefore had missed two general election cycles, yet suddenly they voted in the last election, 2020. Florida law says that they should have been cleaned off the rolls. This list included an astounding 1,114 voter IDs confirmed by canvassing. There were a lot more suspected. This should scare everyone who, who care about who gets elected to the various seats around the county and state. Just think about the ramifications if our elections are not secure. It doesn't matter which party you are. Election integrity is the foundation of this great country. Kathy Chamberlain emailed the Supervisor of Elections in Pinellas over five times last year in attempts and has been unsuccessful in scheduling a single meeting or direct email conversation with Julie Marcus. A week ago, they re-ran the list using software to search efficiently to see how much had been cleared off the voter rolls. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time this morning.